McDonald's, Hello Kitty, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Literally, how can you guys go wrong? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Collectible and Collaboration channel. Today, we're going to talk about a new collaboration that just started, we'll say the 12th. It started on the 9th, one, two, three days ago. And it is between Hello Kitty, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and McDonald's. Now, McDonald's has kind of, like, taken a lot of W's as of recent. They have literally started collaborating with so many people. They're just coming off of this big, like, Wick Donald's anime experience. So I feel like there's going to be quite a bit of these coming down the pipeline. They did the thing with Godzilla. They've done Hello Kitty so many times in the past celebrating the 40th anniversary. And then, like, you know, they've just, they've done Yu-Gi-Oh! And, um... Pokemon, they've just done all this crazy stuff. They did Godzilla recently where they bought, brought Bear Brick into it. They've done Gundam recently last year, all of that stuff. But today, I feel like the collaboration aspect, the three way here is like this didn't even, McDonald's didn't even need to be in the picture for this to be a cool collaboration. Yu Gi Oh! and Hello Kitty. So Sanrio and Konami do a ton of collaborations. We see those franchises get just put out to every single brand ever. I mean, we see Hello Kitty everything. We see Yu-Gi-Oh! everything. I think it's kind of slowing down a little bit, and I know that probably getting one a hold of one of those licenses is extremely difficult, but I never expected to see Hello Kitty and Yu-Gi-Oh! together. Ever. This is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime collaboration, so let's talk about it, where to get it, if it's a cop or a drop, and what what how long this promotion is going to last for. Okay, so there's not really much to it. There is a little bit of a downside to this collaboration, which we'll talk about in a minute, but here it is. I mean, this comes in the form of Happy Meal toys, right? At the end of the day, you're still buying Happy Meal toys, but as far as just like seeing Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hello Kitty and friends, this is like a once in a lifetime. It doesn't matter to me if it's freaking Happy Meals comes from Burger King. I don't care. I just feel like you're never going to see Hello Kitty dressed up as Dark Magician again right look at this we got cinnamon roll cinema roll as the blue eyes white dragon we've got purin as exodia like these are just absolutely hilarious look we got what's what's the kitty's name i can't remember the kitty's name as the winged dragon of raw we got even obelisk slifer um time wizard down here we got karibo this collaboration is just absolutely amazing. So these are going to be available at McDonald's between March 9th and April 9th. So one full month or until um, th if it just happens to run out, which I, th I think is a possibility too. There are a couple of these on eBay that are just hitting skyrocket prices. I created a TikTok on this last night. I think I probably got around 100,000 views already between all platforms. So I, I kind of accidentally created a little bit of competition. But let's, I mean, let's take a look at this. I, just... These are all keychains, first and foremost. They're not just little plushies, but I think this is just a great collection and collaboration. I think this is part to do with that new Wick Donald's promotion that they're doing, the whole anime experience and just all that kind of stuff. So I think that this, I think that's supposed to go until the end of April, maybe, maybe May even. But I feel like anime stuff, anime collaborations through McDonald's is just starting right? I mean, they just did that huge thing with Godzilla. I know that's not anime related, Godzilla minus one, but before that was like Gundam. Then they've done Pokemon a couple times. They've done Beyblade. They've done so much cool stuff. So I think McDonald's is playing a big part in this, but obviously the collab that we're talking about now is Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hello Kitty. Personally, I got to get these, man. I'm going to wait until they probably fizzle out a little bit to get these on eBay. I would like to just buy a full set of these. I think people are selling them for just insane prices. Like someone has you know, like Karibo up on eBay for like $100. That's just insane. I mean, these are Happy Meal toys. These cost like $4, right? These cost $4 with a freaking four-piece chicken nugget. So it's definitely not worth a hundred dollars like like this whole set i mean all 10 of these i would maybe pay a hundred dollars for the entire set i think it's beautiful and then they come in like some really specialty looking boxes that i think are pretty cool but overall like i think if you are anxious or you actually want to pick this collaboration up please do but just just be a little bit patient so the bad news here is that this is going to be a belgium exclusive now this is only going to come out in europe which makes things a little bit more difficult that's why i mean man people like like McDonald's is so worldwide that they do Japan exclusives, they do China exclusives, like the uh, the Gundam I think was Chinese exclusive, um, the 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 the, la, 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 the Godzilla was Japan exclusive. This is going to be, I mean, they did the McDonald's thing a couple not too long ago that was U.S. exclusive. They've done 
um, Poland exclusive stuff. This is going to be a Belgium or Europe exclusive product. So that's why it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but seriously, no joke. I mean, we can access Belgium. People in Europe can put things on eBay, right? I think we could definitely access these. I just would not spend $100 per freaking little keychain plush. Now, don't get me wrong. I think this is one of the coolest collabs of the year so far as far as creativity, just two insanely massive IPs. I mean, think of the the IP of Yu-Gi-Oh! and the IP of Sanrio. They're just some of the biggest IPs ever. I just don't think it's worth that much money. I, I, I seriously think these are worth what they're what they're worth like these are not worth twenty dollars a piece these are maybe worth ten dollars a piece this collection as a whole if someone was selling it on ebay for a hundred dollars i'd probably scoop it up but i mean you could just tell that these are poorly created things they are not figures they're not big plushies they're probably like literally this big they're they're literally like that big so personally for as the collaboration guy this is 100 percent a cop i have to have these i have to have all 10 of these at some point in my lifetime i just think this collaboration is insane so march 9th to april 9th we have a little bit less than one month until this entire campaign is over then we'll start to see these pop up on on ebay pop up online but here's the other thing too man i just don't know how big this is going to be in europe Right, they they might have cut production really short on this. They might not even have that much production. So I would just keep an eye out because the the price could literally skyrocket after April 9th, or it could really come down after April 9th. I'm not sure. As far as that goes, if I had to just take my personal expertise, this is we're talking about McDonald's. I think in some form or another, or another this is going to be mass produced. So don't buy it right now. The collaboration just started three days ago. Wait until you know the middle of this collaboration. Check what and see what prices are doing. Check what things are selling for. And by April 9th, I think if you really are serious about having this collaboration, buy it either before or right around April 9th. I think if you wait too long, the prices might go up. They might come down. But I think if you wait around April 9th, that's the way to go. If you're in Europe, scoop these up for me. That'd be amazing. I do want to know what you guys think about this collaboration. I absolutely love it. This is just a once in a lifer, once in a lifetime to see Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hello Kitty. Then again, you know, I think this could also open up future collaborations or future doors for both of these franchises to work together i'd like to see something maybe outside of mcdonald's but we got to take what we can get let me know what you guys think down in the comments i absolutely love this we'll catch you guys on the